Hey guys, welcome to question MM189 of the Mass Methods Fortifier Study Guide. So we've got this uh, function f of x equals 3x squared on 10x, and we need to find f dash of x. So as always guys, immediately recognizing that we can't derive this normally because we've got a function divided by another function, which should tell us that we actually need to use our quotient rule, right? Sweet. So let's rewrite this and say that um, I'm just going to let y equal u over v where u equals 3x squared and v equals 10x, okay? I just like to let it equal y just so that we can use our dy, dx notation and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so from here, we know that actually, you know what, let's say du dx is equal to the derivative of 3x squared, which is just 6x, and dv dx, which is equal to uh, the derivative of 10x, uh, which is equal to sec squared x. And that should just be on your formula sheet. You don't necessarily need to remember that. Uh, just checking that you guys... Okay, so this bit's kind of rubbed out, but this says dv dx. dv dx. Awesome. So from here, we know that the derivative of f of x, so f dash of x, equals the quotient rule, which is v times du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. Fantastic. And now we can simply sub in our... So we did all this before so that we could just sub in our values uh, without having to work anything out as we're going. So v is 10x, so 10x times du dx, which is 6x, uh, minus u, which is 3x squared, times dv dx, which is sec squared x, over v squared, where v is 10x, so 10 squared x. Awesome. Uh, from here, I'm just going to kind of simplify it a little bit further. It's not going to do too much, but there's not much you can do with this sort of simplification. 10 squared x. Awesome. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. That's fine. So, as always, guys, two marks for this question. Uh, and your first mark comes by recognizing that it's the quotient rule and figuring out all these values here. So that's your first mark. Oh, you are not going to be able to see that. First mark here. Uh, and then your second mark is actually getting the answer and figuring all that out. What you could do um, is actually uh, simplify all this down to signs and causes, uh, but I think that's fine. I'm not going to do that. So that's our answer, guys. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, but thanks for watching.